Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Matt with Green Bar Trading. So I'm going to be doing a quick trade recap for you guys right here at the pool. Um, the kids are sitting next to me on their favorite devices playing Roblox. What is it? Robux? Roblox. Roblox. Um, we should probably all be buying stock in Roblox. That's all I have to say. This platform is incredible. So anyway, today was a roller coaster. When pre-market, we were seeing a lot of momentum, some great momentum, some great stocks, some really nice um, setups. And seeing these pre-market is very encouraging. It's a very encouraging sign that momentum, you know, could be back after being away for a couple of months. Um, and it's definitely showing some good, good signs. So this morning, I'm going to go over a trade that I took with you guys. It was a very nice trade off a pullback, taking off my favorite indicator, the 9 EMA as support. Now, trading pre-market is a little bit different than trading in the regular session. You can't set a hard stop loss, so you have to just be, you know, there in the moment to try to get great entries. And if price goes against you, don't sit around, take the L and just, you know, chalk it up to a loss. There's no stops. You can't physically go and put a stop loss out in pre-market. And I'm going to show you um, one more thing here. So let's just share the screen and then I'll show you how we um, take a trade in pre-market because the time in force is important that you change. Okay. Sharing the break-even day. This day went from being up to my you know, goal per, per day um, to being down at almost my max loss to back to even. So it was a roller coaster. But what day trading is not a roller coaster? And we're still on the right side of profit. That is what counts. But I'm still disappointed about giving away my daily goal. So let's take a look at this stock that we traded pre-market. Um, sorry, it's tough to see out here with the, the water. All right, we're already on there. Why am I not? Okay, here we go. Perfect. All right, so this is the trade that we took. And it was a quick trade, a quick $19 not bad for you know a minute about a minute two minutes of hold time now the reason why i got involved here on this candle is i waited for the pullback when these things rip and by the way the reason why i traded rsls it was one of the leading gappers and it had only three million float a very small float and these are the stocks that can really give a lot of profit, a lot of ways to make money. But instead of chasing these first moves, right, you wait for a pullback and you have the nine EMA, you're still over the nine, you're still over VWAP. As long as you're over the nine, you're still involved in that first leg up. You know, once it starts breaking the nine, then it starts to get a little more tricky and you want to look at the five minute chart for better setups. But we're still at the beginning of the move. It's only 7.13 in the morning. I get the pullback and I take my trade here. Instantly rockets up. Now, most of the, the time when I trade momentum stocks, I have dialed in my entries really, really good. Um, so, you know, knowing that we get the pullback here and I have the nine right here, 
my stop is going to be just below this area right here, which is around 798 area, you know, give or take that whole dollar amount. I want to see that whole dollar amount hold. Um, and that's exactly what happened. Got the move, took the profit. Nice, quick, you know, good entry, decent exit. Um, I could have held longer and, you know, doubled my profit. But scalp trading, I get in, I get out. These things could come against you really, really quickly. So that was that trade. And then um, let me show you how to trade pre-market. Set your time in force for EXT, okay? This is how you trade pre-market. You can't take a pre-market trade unless you set EXT right here. This is for extended hours. And as we're watching this, interesting news came out about a, a possible short squeeze and this stock is ripping up as I'm doing this video. Oh, this is where you can get caught though. I already tell myself no trading, no trading in the afternoon. As I'm making this, this is very, this is testing my patience, not my patience, but my resolve. This is testing my, my rules that everybody should have. Um, and mine is not to trade anymore. If I don't make it in the first hour, hour and a half at the most, it's not, you know, you have a better tendency at that point of getting chopped up. So anyway, getting back to this, trading pre-market, make sure your time in force is set for EXT. It's as simple as that. And then you can trade pre-market. Most of the time, it's 7 a.m. Eastern time to, to uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time is pre-market session. Um, and the same thing goes for after hours. Just set this to EXT, and that's how you can set a um, pre-market trade. Uh, just keep in mind, you can't set a stop loss. Like I said, you can't come in here and set a stop. You have to, you know, just be ready to either hit the bid quick. If price and level two is not looking good, just sell it before it flushes down. So anyway, that's it. This stock is really looking nice um, at the moment. We'll see. Uh, let's see it. See how it hit our. Mo this is another thing. I have a momentum scanner here that I figured out for free. Okay, and it's at the top of the list right here. RSLS. It's a momentum scanner. I'll link in the description. This is the same momentum scanner that Ross Cameron over at Warrior Trader uses. Um, but I figured it out on Thinkorswim that we can use it for free. It's not exactly the same, but it shows all the same stocks that hit his scanner, hit this scanner as well. So I will link that in the description. So you got a little bonus out of this video, a little live bonus. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's my day. Break even. Um, minimal profitability today, but not red. So there's that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. We want to see this over a thousand. We're almost there. Um, so that's it for me. I'm going to jump in the pool. It's about 90 million degrees out right now. So that's it. Take care, everyone. I'll see you back on the next video.